It says we're live. We are live, everybody. Hello, it's Lynn and Ellie and Carol, and we are on the Million Dollar Mission. And we're really glad that you're here with us live. And if you're watching the replay, thank you. We appreciate that, too. And today, if you're over 40, this is going to be great. If you're under 40, it's still going to be great. <laughs> So, uh, first thing that we do, though, every time on our mission is we make a toast. So, go for it, Ellie. Okay, here we are to the toast, a million dollar mission. What's the million dollar mission about? It's about your journey. Your journey. Uh, within having millions, not just in your pocket, but millions in your experiences, just having a million, a million dollar mission life. So, here's to the journey. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, I like that one. That's a good one. You know, uh, I don't know if you all noticed the image that we shared for this uh, hangout tonight, <laughs> but that is Ellie. <laughs> yes, she's riding the mechanical bull. <laughs> and uh, so it kind of like went hand in hand with, you know, we're, we're you know, um, taking the bull by the horns <laughs> when it comes to our online business success. And you know what? Boomers, you know, we say boomers, baby boomers, people over 40 and that kind of thing. The reason why we kind of wanted to address that specific group of people is because, well, we're all boomers here. And also to, you know, to emphasize the fact that it doesn't matter how old or how young you are. What matters is what you want to do in your life. What is it that you really want out of life, right? And we, we always talk about that is what's your why? What, why are you even here on this earth? Why, why are you even doing what you're doing today? Why are you on this hangout? Why are you listening to us, you know? I mean, it all boils down to what is it that you really want? And th that never came to me at first. I, I didn't realize this because, you see, I'm an ex-corporate robot mom. <laughs> I have been in uh, corporate America for over three decades. And I run into so many other boomers that have been in the same space as me and the same kind of mindset, you know, that we've been programmed to do certain things at certain times of the day and, you know, all that kind of thing. So we wanted to, to let you know that um, Carol, Ellie, and I, we are in this online business thing and we're winning. We're having success. And we're showing other people how you can have a choice at this as well. And how there's there's so many different ways that you can do things, but what we found is we found the right company, the comp plan, the community, the leadership, the vision that has been aligned with us and what we believe in and how we want to live our life as well. And I think mainly the big thing is how they stress upon mindset because if you don't start there first, then everything else is going to crumble. So as boomer, you know, as we talk to people that are over 40, we believe that, first of all, you've got the experience, right? You've got life experience behind you. So, uh, and, and you're probably at a part, you know, time of your life that you're, you know, getting close to retirement or whatever. And you, you might be looking at this technology that's roaming around on the internet and all these smartphones and everything and how other people are doing what they're doing online, like us. And uh, we're going to be coming out here Thursday, I believe, with something that's we hope that you're going to find very, very beneficial to you if you decide that you know changing your life in a different way and getting out of corporate America or work nine to five or whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're self-employed and you're, you're you're tired of that as well. We can show you you know a different way. We believe that our million dollar um, mission is a way for us to share you know, what we're doing and how we're doing it so you can make, you know, better decisions. So I'm going to pass this off to either Ellie or Carol to, you know, to go off from that or to talk about something else when it comes to boomers taking the, you know, taking the horns. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll pick it up from there. Um, you know, just like the Industrial Revolution took people out of the farm fields and into the factories, uh, we're now in the information age, which is taking people out of the cubicles, out of the nine to five, and into our own whatever, our own businesses, our own whatever it is that we want to create. 
with the information uh, that's available out there and the technology that goes with us that with it that allows us to uh, have access to all this information. So uh, that being laid as the as a groundwork, uh, that um, technology and information is not just for the young people, although we, we sometimes tend to think that it is because it comes so easy to those folks. I mean, they were born into it just like we were born into the dial telephone and the uh, uh, stick shift car. I mean, they probably wouldn't know how to work them, and we do. You know, So it's a matter of uh, whatever time you're uh, born into. And I tend to look at it as though we're in the bridge generation because um, we weren't uh, brought up with this kind of stuff, and yet it exists now so that we can uh, bridge into it. Now, as I started to say, uh, this is not something that's just for youth. It's out there for everybody. And we are foolish if we don't grab onto it because that is where everything is going. The wave is going in that direction. The country is going in that direction. The world is going in that direction. And if we don't grab hold of it, like I said, we're very foolish not to. Yes, there is a learning curve. There are things to learn. But, I mean, we're not stupid. <laughs> Good Lord, we've been on this earth for 40, 50, 60 some odd years. Uh, and we have learned things as we go along. So we can certainly uh, learn new technology. And that's what uh, puts us in the running with everybody else so that uh, we're not left out. And there's no reason for us to be left out. Um, I feel so passionate about that because um, I, I've seen, I've worked with so many people who have just given up. And I'm talking about young people also, young people in their 30s. And they've just given up. They just figure this is, this is it for the rest of their lives that they work for somebody else. And that's fine for some people, but most of the ones that I spoke with and that I worked with didn't like it. And yet they saw no alternative. And I, I, don't, I just find that so sad because there are alternatives, there are options. And um, technology, online business, um, internet, um, that's the way to go. And of course, the old smartphone <laughs> which uh, makes us even more mobile so um, for right now that's that's what I have to say and uh, let me just be quiet for a little bit and see who else would like to pick up I, I'm laughing that Carol's actually showing you that all right because she fought she wanted her flip phone now me too I didn't really want to give up my flip phone all right but <laughs> I gave it up a little quicker than her she was like I don't want those things. So, but, you know, I'd say, especially people in their later 40s, 45 and oh, I think what starts to happen is you've been in a job now for 20-something years probably, or a career path or what have you, and you start believing, like, this is it. You know, and that to me is like a big whoa. That, you know, like, oh, well, I really couldn't do anything else because this is what I know how to do. Even though this is not what I wanted to do. This is what I was trained to do. Because we were raised like that. And I don't think that's just boomers, okay? <laughs> that is people in their 40s. Probably still people today are being raised at, go do this because you'll make good money. And you know what? I mean, making good money is good. But if, if you don't like what you're doing, you better wake up. I don't care how old you are now watching this, all right? You better wake up, especially if you're in your 20s, because you're committing yourself to, to, like, years of doing what you don't want to do. And what happens is if the money is decent, you hang in there. You know, we know people in this area, we don't live far from Albany, New York, so there's a lot of state jobs. And, you know, people get sucked into those state jobs because they have, they still have like a pension plan, right, Carol? They have a pension plan, right? You know, which hardly nobody does anymore, right? 
Um, and so they really suck people in. You know, and we meet, we know all these state workers who are like, oh my God, I don't like my job. But it's like, oh, but I only have 10 more years or eight more years. And I'm thinking, crap, you could be dead in six years. Okay. <laughs> so, and you could be. None of us are really guaranteed tomorrow. That I'm not being morbid about. It's just the truth. I don't care how old you are. You know, so that was always my motto. I don't know if I really have tomorrow, so I better have a good time today. I'm laughing because this early next year, early 2016, I'll be on computers for 20 years. So I was that 40-year-old, you know, who got on and um, didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was dial-up then, all right, that we could get on. Dial-up that you waited forever. You know, and the Internet was ugly compared to what it's like now. But it was like, whoa. <laughs> you know, and I, I started creating business on there. I did. Um, but I'm, so I'm a little more techy, you know, when they, when people talk about, you know, are you techy? Because I had to be. I had to learn a whole bunch of different ways. And I did, I did create a business. I did it by blogging. People still want to, there are still people out there that say that foolish stuff of, you don't need to blog to build a business. And let me tell you what, even if you have a brick and mortar business, you want to have a website. And in essence, you ought to blog. Because if you did some updating, you'd get some interest going. Now, you don't have to blog daily, all right, especially if you have a brick and mortar. But if you were putting out your specials and coupons out there, I don't get why, I don't get why people don't get that. That today, because we have these things, even I do this now. Even Carol does it, okay? We look up a restaurant wherever we are in an area because we can find it on this thing. Crazy, right? We believe phones will like to talk to people. But we can do that. And so if you don't have a website on there with specials on there, you are missing out on business. So you're losing your space of real estate. So I don't care what business you have, what business you have, or what interest where you want to build a business. Some of you are like, I think maybe I could. Grab onto that, I think maybe I could. Don't let that go. That's really, really important. Start to build something on here and learn. That's what put me on. I think maybe I could. You know, and then I started to, and I built a business. Um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I really didn't have anybody to, um, to help me. As a matter of fact, I was just thinking about this yesterday. I was like afraid to ask for help. You know, I would go on technical forums. Then there wasn't Facebook and all that. I would go on techie forums when I had techie questions. People were really good about that. But, like, to ask somebody that was in a similar business to me, I was afraid to ask them because I thought, well, they won't tell me what to do because they're my competition. Now, here's what I realized there, okay? I didn't understand business. I don't come from a business-orientated family. I come from employee-minded family, right? I don't, knew nobody that had their own business. And so I just didn't think people would want to tell me their secrets, you know. And so I was really insecure about that. I was afraid. Of, I wouldn't ask people, you know, for help. So I really struggled that I stayed on and didn't throw the computer out the window. <laughs> it's amazing because I really struggled with that. Uh, and, you know, and, and as I matured, you know, because I learned... You know, you know, and then you step in, you find, if you, if you really want it, the things are out there, you know, stepping into a system that it's true, as of Thursday, it will be even easier system, which blows my mind, right, and has a community of people who truly do answer your questions and help you. Now, is there every person that gives you their absolute secret? Probably not. Okay, <laughs> there's some, you know, there's some cuckoo people everywhere, okay? <laughs> Tits balls here and there, wherever. But on a whole, you find the people here, and I don't care what age you are. That's why 
people that are unsure of these things or how to do business on here or not too sure, when you step into a blog platform that you don't know, need to know, no technical mumbo jumbo, and I needed to know that. Um, that's amazing. And still you're going to have questions. You know, and then we have a Facebook group <laughs> where the other people who use it and the support team is in there. And they come in and answer the questions, right? And, um, and have that community of people exchanging ideas. That's when you realize, oh my God, I really can do this. I really can do this. You know, are you going to make a million dollars in three nights? I don't think so. Maybe you will. I never met anybody that did it, though. So, you know, I didn't. But so there's a there's a learning curve, um, and there's work involved. My God, there is work involved. But it's not labor. You know, heavy duty labor, and uh, and it really is. For me, it's um, not, it's rewarding work. All right, it it really is learning, and what you realize is is when I've learned things, now I'm able to go on that forum when somebody asks a question, and I can go, oh, here's what you do, here's the answer. So there's this give and take as you're refining your skills when you're in a give and take scenario. And I'm going to say people that are 45 and older understand that because you have life experience. Somebody 20 might not get what I'm saying right now. Maybe you do. I'm not. Okay. But if you're 45 or older, you do get what I'm saying because you have life experience. You understand there is that, uh, there's a reward in give and take. And then there's an expansion in give and take. And so when you're in business for yourself and by yourself, I did that. That's difficult. It is difficult. Not impossible. I'm not, if somebody's, you know, it's like, hey, go for it. Not impossible. But difficult. I really didn't want to do difficult. And I knew the technical stuff. So I'm a little bit, you know, I'm sure there's some people that are my age that know even more technical than me. But when you can be in business for yourself and not by yourself, there's more. There's more ease, there's more flow, there's more time for creativity because of the flow, you know, um, and so it's more rewarding. So, you know, I know we're always, and, and it is, it's mindset, it's community, and it's having a simple system in place where you, you now, you have to do it, but you, you, there's steps to follow. And as of Thursday, it will get even easier. So. That's what we're really excited about. But before Thursday, okay, this was simple. This was simple. Compared to anything else that I've seen out there, this was simple. It's going to get even simpler as of Thursday. So I'll be quiet for a moment at least. Yeah, yeah, we are, we are very excited for Thursday, and uh, it is going to be simpler. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but you know, Ellie and um, Carol, you know, I want to get back to uh, you know taking the bull by the horns kind of deal. And I, I, I just want to put out there that I, I think sometimes, and maybe it's not an age thing. Maybe it's just a mindset thing that we don't know what we don't know. So it kind of stops us in our tracks. And when anybody hears online business and they haven't been in this industry, these red flags go up. I believe this company, this community that we are a part of is helping to change that, is helping people uh, to find out that there is a different choice. And we are, you know what? what's really exciting, um, and I know Carol and Ellie will agree, is the people that we're attracting, the, the brains, you know, the people that have this, you know this this um, mentality and this this um, educated marketing you know brainiac way about them and they're coming together as a unit to help people and that's what I love about it. that's my passion is that we all succeed 
You know, it's not just about the people at the top or something like that, and that's what corporations are all about. I mean, think about it. You know, somebody owns a corporation, well, you know, they're at the top of that pyramid, so to speak. But this community, this is what I love, is that we, we attract so many people that have, you know, different skill sets, like Ellie. I mean, she's really good at, you know, the technical side. And then, you know, Carol, she brings in, uh, you know, her, her corporate background, but now she's got a passion for mindset. So, I mean, you know, you bring all these people together and we mastermind and we go to, we go to events every three months and we see each other like we're, you know, family and we are. I mean, we, we really are. And we start talking about stuff, you know, and the ideas like Ellie was saying flow, things just start flowing, you know, because we are of, of similar mindsets and we're all wanting similar goals and dreams, which is to live a freedom lifestyle. I don't want to have to live where I have to wake up a certain time, a, a, a certain part of a day, to go to a certain place, you know, to get on a certain freeway, to be some, you, you know what I mean? I did that for over 30 years. And it kept bugging me. I, I always felt like, is this really how life is supposed to be? You know, especially when, you know, as we were raising our son and things like that. So. I think this is exciting time. You know, Carol touched on this. You know, we we are in a very awesome time right now that we should grab, you know, the horns of that bull and make a commitment and be open. Be open to learning new things, right? Be open to understanding that no, you're not gonna know it all. In fact, you're gonna get in the you know the back office and you're gonna go, Wah! right? <laughs> But this community is constantly driven by the fact that they want more and more people to succeed. And how do you do that? You do make systems more simple for people to get in, start learning, become educated, develop their mindset, and guess what? You're going to have success. And that's the exciting part because when all of us start succeeding, we get to celebrate with each other and all this kind of cool stuff. And that is where, that's where this online business thing and having the success and winning at it is really all about. So, um, you know, some people, they think that, you know, maybe I come off too hypey or something like that. It's because it's just in me. I just have a passion for people succeeding. I get really, really excited about what I do. Like Ellie, you know, and, and Carol, I mean, we get up in the morning. We don't drag out of bed and say, oh, Lord, we got to do a hangout today. You know what I mean? We enjoy this. We enjoy what we're doing. Um, this, this truly is a million-dollar mission for us, and we're on this journey that is really, really exciting. And that's why we hope we, we bring this excitement to you and this encouragement and this, this way of believing, you know, this putting that belief in you out there that if we can do it, trust me, you can do it. But it will take time. There's absolutely no overnight success. And Gary Vaynerchuk, he just released a video that I saw today. Uh, maybe it wasn't today, but I saw a video where he talked about that. That he, you know, he challenges anyone to show him a person on this earth that has had overnight success. There is no such thing. There isn't. Like he said, he has worked morning, noon, and night since he was 14 years old. And he didn't start seeing success until he was 22. All right? So, you know, if you put that, just put it on the back burner. And don't put pressure on yourself because maybe you were successful in corporate America, right? Most of us have been. I mean, if, if, you, if you've been there and you've been doing that kind of work, you know, um, you probably have been successful. Well, trust me, you can be successful at this as well. And you have people like Ellie Carroll and I that are willing to, you know, bring you in and, and, and we come together as a community, as a team, you know, and we help each other in success by sharing this kind of thing and, and just, keep it, just keep it moving forward. So um, that's, what, that's, that's what I wanted to, to say. <laughs> oh, so much to, to go for here. Let's see. I'm going to go back to something that Ellie said first of all um, about not being raised in a business environment. Um, I was not raised in a in a family that was business oriented either. Um, actually, my father was a doctor. My mother was a nurse. My mother thought I was going to be a doctor. <laughs> I don't know where she got that idea from because that wasn't my agenda. Uh, 
my brother uh, was a remedial reading teacher, but he realized very early on that he was not somebody who would fit into a bureaucracy, and he saw the lunacy of what went on in bureaucracies and was not going to abide by it. So he branched out and went into business on his own. He had a brick and mortar business. And uh, he eventually, uh, he didn't know a, a darn thing about it. And he was almost knocked out of business a couple of times. One of them was by a, an employee who uh, was stealing from him when, when he wasn't there. And, uh, but he caught, caught it just in time before he lost everything. And another time, uh, a big, what we would consider today, box store. We, we didn't have them in those days, but the equivalent of that was almost about to knock him out of business. But he's a sharp guy, and he knew how to do his marketing and what have you. And he was able to uh, not only maintain his business, but he expanded into different, uh, different areas. And uh, he lived a very nice lifestyle as a result of uh, what he did. Now, he offered me an opportunity once to join him in his business. And I could have taken advantage of that, but you know that old adage, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This student was not ready. And uh, I just, um, there were a number of reasons, but uh, it was, I could say now foolish of me not to, but for whatever reason it didn't happen. So, you know, it all worked out. So I stayed in my job. And uh, I'm not going to knock jobs because uh, for myself uh, I'm sorry that I stayed in the job for so long <laughs> but it worked I had a decent uh, you know I had a decent standard of living and I was able to pay my bills etc so uh, I, I don't want to just keep talking about myself but at any rate that that's the background that I come from until I reached the point where I just I could not take it anymore uh, I just could not stand the lunacy that my brother couldn't stand early on, <laughs> I couldn't take it anymore. So uh, I decided to uh, jump into this business, and I'm so glad I did. Um, I have to go back now to what Lynn said, and she was talking about opportunity. Uh, and I don't know how to impress this upon people uh, strongly enough. This is such, such... Uh, uh, an age of opportunity right now, but it's different from the opportunity that that we knew as boomers. Those of us who were boomers, it's a it's a shift. It's it's a different area, and I mean we can let it pass us by, or we can jump on that wave and and ride our surfboard into the sunset with it and uh, get going. Uh, Yes, it, it, I've said this a little earlier. Yes, we do have to learn new, new things. And, you know, we, we can do this. I mean, we are people who have persevered. That's, that's part of our upbringing. That's part of our, our being. That's part of us. That's part of the characteristic of, of our generation. We have stick to it of this. We can do it. Uh, what we don't have is the excitement and confidence that we can, that the young people have. They think, oh yeah, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that, I can do the next thing. And kudos to them for thinking that way. And that's what we have to uh, latch on to in, in my estimation, is um, get into that excitement, get into that belief, get into that confidence that, uh, you know, acknowledge who we are, realize who we are, what we've accomplished in our lives and what still lies ahead of us. I mean, the uh, lifespan has uh, accelerated, and uh, not accelerated, excuse me, extended itself so uh, just in, in, in my lifetime so far, and I know it's going to continue to do so. So, you know, we can't think about just, you know, packing it in at uh, 65, 70. No, we're looking at 80s and 90s today. Uh, and, I mean, how many people, how many CEOs are in their 60s and 70s? And uh, how many people, um, I can't tick you off their names with, 
with uh, off the top of my head, but I, I know I've read about so many people in their 70s who have started businesses and and become very uh, uh, famous and not not only famous but successful. I mean, there's a woman in the town I used to live in uh, here in upstate New York uh, who was in her 90s when she became a well-known artist. So, I mean, you know, we, we can do it. We can do it. Um, and that was Whistler's mother, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of her or not. She's kind of famous around this area. Um, well, the other thing that we have going for us, I mean, at this point, uh, the kids are out of the house. You know, we don't have those responsibilities that the young folks have. I, I do, I do understand that. That, uh, like the people in their 30s who have two or three little kids, and uh, you know, they they feel s stuck in the whatever they're doing. That this is going to be their life for the rest of their lives, because they're thinking about these little kids and the the medical coverage that they need to have for them and you know all that business certainly there are ways around that it's not easy but there are ways around that but we don't have that I mean we have choices we can go out and play golf which is fine we should be able to play golf or you know we can we can get into a business and, and create whatever we want and bring people along with us and uh, uh, expand our financial system uh, personally and expand our freedom wow I mean it just blows your mind if you think about it so let me jump off the soap opera uh, soapbox here and uh, whoever wants to pick it up go right ahead I'm laughing I don't play golf okay sorry I ride mechanical bulls and John is on the hangout I know he is he knows I ride those carpet machines in the hotels. I don't know if he's still with us, but he's the one who saw that video where I ride the, the guy. When I, what? Where the heck were we? What event were we at when I did that? I don't remember. But the guy, I said, ooh, it was one of these machines that stands on it and it vacuums, and he let me on it. So <laughs> I have a video. Waving to the people. It was great. I'd like one of those for my house. Um, it might have been Orlando, as a matter of fact. Orlando or Charlotte, I think. I can't remember. No, it was Charlotte. It was Charlotte. All right. That's where John was. It was in Charlotte. So um, I'm, I'm listening, you know, to all of this, and I don't, you know, and Lynn was saying before, you know, people say, you know, hype and, I have to laugh today. If you like, get excited about something, people go, "Oh, it's hype." You know, only if you talk about it with internet marketing, you can get, you can talk hype about something else, all right? About some freaking soapbox opera, you can get excited about, all right? So, you know what? I know I can get very, very passionate, and I actually don't like to talk about timing. I don't. Um, because on a whole, I don't believe in it, except probably at certain points. I'm not a surfer, okay, I'm not a surfer, but I know there's a timing aspect, okay? You know, even when you just try to play to ride the wave, you know, with your body. So imagine doing that on a board. There's a whole timing. If you don't get there at the right time, the wave breaks on you. It doesn't take you in. So um, there are points timing is important as because it just it can give you that push. So I watch this all the time. People sit back, they sit back, they go, oh, you know, it. <laughs> and a business like this, okay, is not a huge investment, you know. So I don't understand why people are sitting back. Um, but if you're gonna get in. Please don't come in with the attitude, not on my team anyways, and say, oh, I'll try it for two weeks. You know what? Don't even bother. I really mean that, okay? Because first of all, that word try, Yoda is the one who says do or don't do. There is no try. And um, two weeks, like, you know, you, you just... That's that game. You're, you're making believe you're swimming because you're stuck your toe in the pool 
Folks, you ain't swimming if your toe is in the pool. It's simple, right? So that stuff to me, that's just, you know, this... Just make up your mind that you're not going to do anything like this then, all right? <laughs> and go watch the TV or something. And I'm not beating anybody up for that. But if you keep finding yourself on hangouts like this and looking at businesses, what the heck are you waiting for, all right? For the roof to fall down on your head and say, this is a sign, okay? These are not huge investments, not this business anyways. Um... I do believe you ought to make a good investment in yourself, though, because you need to make an investment in your education, and you need to make an investment of time. If you're playing that game of, I'm just going to try it, don't bother, all right? But if you're just going around, and we were saying, someone was saying here before, you know, you're sticking your emails into all these crazy offers, and you're looking for the overnight success, Lynn was talking about it, because Gary Vaynerchuk was saying it, it's not there. It's not. If it was, what the hell? Everybody would be doing it. it just, do you think all the other people are stupid? They're not. So if it was a possibility, everybody would be doing it. It's not there. There are, and there are, and there is junk and scam on the internet too. I'm the first one to say that, just like there is out there in the real world. All right. And there are solid, reliable businesses on the internet. There are. This happens to be one of them, a very good one, I believe, especially for new people. Of course, I'm biased, all right? But I, I did my homework before I did this. So everybody ought to realize that. I looked around and I checked things out, you know. Um, so, you know, if you want to call that hype, when people are like, click the button and get in, if you call that hype, you probably don't belong here. I just, I mean that. I'm not being fresh, I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, you know, um, if you're waiting for the big sign, you know, this is it. <laughs> you know, do you want me to say it like that? This is the sign. <laughs> but, you know, you're never going to know. Here's that thing I always think of. Don't, you know, don't die with your song still in you. Did I say that right? I think I did. Yeah. And that, to me, was always a motivating factor all my life. Now, I was not a corporate person. Sorry, you couldn't get me to do that. I didn't do career stuff. I didn't follow the paths people told me to do. I did a whole bunch of different things. So I, I didn't even get caught up because <laughs> bureaucracy got too heavy. I was like, boom, out of here. I'm going to another job. The job scenario, I was able to do that <laughs> when I was in my 20s. I was able to do that. Job scenario is not like that now. You know, so this whole idea of, oh, it's risky, I just don't get that, all right? Nobody's asking you to mortgage your freaking house. They, this is not buying a car. Cars are expensive. Cars today, we used to buy houses when people pay for cars, all right? So it's like, stop making a big deal. If you keep finding yourself on hangouts like this, watching stuff like this, um, reading about it, looking at different businesses. Stop doing that. Just get in and make a commitment to do this. And then come play with us. And come play with us in the events, too. And ride the mechanical bull, because, yes, that is me on that picture. So. <laughs> okay, I'm quiet now. <laughs> exactly. I love it. I love it. You know, and, and when you said uh, click the button to get in, Okay, so here's 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 what I was thinking is that if, if you're coming from this corporate background or if you're coming from a paycheck or whatever company or even self-employed, we all have our lingo, right? There's always this certain lingo that you have in a business, whether you're brick and mortar or you work for a corporation or whatever it is. I remember my corporate days, they sent me to all these stupid schools to train me on how to close people, you know, what to say. You know, all this kind of thing. Okay, well, when you're on the Internet, right, you're not looking at somebody face-to-face, -face, so you got to say, click the dang button and get in, right? So it's just, it's a mentality of, well, that's just hype, you know, or that's just, you know, that's a scam, you know, kind of deal. 
No, you have to communicate to people and you've got to let people know exactly what to do next. Because for most instances, people do not know what to do because this is new. So you have to guide people online. You're not looking at them face to face. This isn't, you know, where there's a client across the table, you know, like I'm used to. I was in the real estate lending industry. I literally sat, you know, if, uh, clients were across the desk from me and I could see them eye to eye and talk to them. But on, on the internet, you don't have that. Just like right now, I believe I'm talking to you. You know, you're listening to our hangout. You're listening to us. And we believe we're talking to you and sharing this information. So you do make a decision. So you do decide, okay, all right, they are making sense. This is making sense. Maybe this is something I can do. But not try, like Ellie says. If you're going to go into that category, then forget it, all right? Because we already, we already know. You know, we're already having success in this business. We're already, um, we're moving along. We're... Uh, you know, Carol mentioned that we're kind of like this this bridge generation, and we are. So we're kind of like the pioneers, so to speak, of this online venture. And uh, the company that we're a part of, Empower Network, um, recently took on, um, you know, iPass. They've integrated, and this is the system that helps people to, you know, to not only make sales but to educate yourself. So guess what? You get the double whammy, you know? You get to come on board uh, with a team, with a community and all that kind of good thing, but you're going to get the education. You're not going to you're not going to have to go out and start searching for, you know, other trainings and all this kind of stuff. You're in one place, you get educated, and you can start making sales, you know, immediately depending on, you know, your your persistence and and you know, your activity of what whatever it is that you do with the information that you get. So for, for when Ellie was saying click the button to get in, it's not hype and it's not, you know, schemey, scammy. It's a way to communicate to people because they need to know what do they do next. All right? It's either a link or it's a button or, I, hey, I'm going to take you to the next video when this one's done or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, you know, on your blog posts, same thing. If you're writing, you're, you know, you, you're not cross the table from anybody. You're not looking at somebody, you know, face to face. But you've got to believe that that's what you're doing when you're communicating either on your blog or in videos or anything like that. that there is a person on the other side, okay, that's, that's reading that blog post and they're going to get whatever it is that you're trying to share with them on that kind of level. And this is part of succeeding with an online business. You're just going to do things a little bit differently, but you learn how to do that inside of this community. Because we have some amazing talent. I mean, you know, I mean, Carol and Ellie, I mean, they know. I mean, we have, we have some marketers on, in the leadership that have been around for 20, you know, 20, 25 years. And, uh, and the owner, you know, the founder, David Wood, has been around now, what, 10, 11, 12 years, whatever. The thing that is, is everybody's growing. Everyone's growing, and we're all, um, you know, taking that experience each year. And we're going to be celebrating four years in Orlando, and that's pretty cool, pretty good for for a business like this. Because in this industry, there's a lot of companies that have come and gone. Trust me, I know. Because you know, I I did this stupid thing, and I got that shiny, you know, object syndrome, and uh, so I, you know, fell victim to that on three different times. But at any rate, those companies came and went within six months, eight months, a year. Some two years, they last two years, you know. So the thing that is, is like Ellie says, do your homework, right? Do your homework of, of what company that you are going to get involved in. And, you know, what team and community and all this kind of thing. What is their vision? What is, what is the company really all about? And I think that'll help you to feel better if you're going from that corporate mindset and shifting over into something like this, which is an online business. But trust me, you can win at this as long as you are in it to win it and not just, well, I'll give it a try. Because like Ellie said, forget it. <laughs> it won't work that way. You can't just dip your toe in. you got to go for it. So I wonder what Carol thinks about that. <laughs> well, there's a few things here. Uh, I'm going to put together what uh, Ellie and you both said about, you know, click the link and, and it's not scammy and what have you. Um, I, it just put me in mind of uh, 
a few years back, uh, Ellie and I, and then I, I stayed in it. She, she went off in this direction uh, with uh, real estate and uh, housing rehabilitation. Um, we bought uh, distressed homes, uh, fixed them up, and, and sold them. And I didn't know any. I mean, real estate. Yeah, I bought and sold a couple of houses for myself that I've lived in. But more than that, I didn't know a lot about it. So we went to uh, a couple of uh, workshops that we paid uh, good money for. But it turned out that they were excellent workshops, and we learned a lot from them. And people over, over, over delivered. And uh, we bought some products. Yeah, we clicked on the on the button and bought some products. And uh, again, uh, for the most part, they were uh, very, very informative, and you know, gave me the knowledge base and, and Ellie as well when when she was involved, uh, so that we could uh, continue on. And uh, I, I had fun with it. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Um, so the point being that yes, you're absolutely right. Um, for whatever reason. Uh, I, I I don't really understand it. You know, comes a point where you have to make a decision, yes or no. And you know, uh, if you're going to say no, then you know, forget about it. And go do something else. If you're going to say yes, then click the damn button. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> um. Yes, this is a fantastic, I mean, thank God Ellie had done her homework because this is a fantastic company that we're involved with. We, we have uh, leaders and, and a founder who is uh, beyond belief in terms of uh, having heart for people and caring about people and, you know, not looking to rip people off and in it for the long run. As long as he lives, he says he's going to be in this business and I believe him. Uh, and he certainly has had opportunity where he didn't have to. A lot of people start these businesses, you know, they build up and they become worth something and they sell them and, and they're on their way and they made millions of dollars. But he's, he's, that's not the way he's looking at this. He's a visionary, the likes of which I've never seen in my life. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be affiliated with this. Um, and I see time is marching on, so... That said, I will jump off. You know, um, one of the biggest reasons I'm in here, obviously I, I want to make money, but that's not actually the biggest reason because I could make money any, in a lot of different ways. So it is because this type of a business is a grassroots business. This is about um, people uplifting people. You know, it's not that trickle down crap because obviously it don't work. And we all knew that <clears throat> even when they told us it worked. But, you know, that's the game corporations play. I won't get into it. Obviously, I have politics. We all do. I know there's a debate going on tonight and I'm not watching. But, uh, <laughs> because. Uh, <clears throat> I won't give them that much power in my life because it's businesses like this, okay, that will change the world. And I know that really sounds, oh, grandiose and hype, but you can call it whatever you want to call it. This is a huge belief I have, and I know I'm not the only one with that belief. This, <clears throat> And really, this is how the country was built. All right, because the country, when it was built, was mostly small business owners, not corporations. Okay, it was people working their own businesses and people helping other people to to get by, and being apprentices and teaching people skills. And okay, and now we're able to do that community, that grassroots. Okay, on a global scale because of this machine sitting in front of us. Oh, uh, with your phone, you can do it. That amazes me, right? That does blow some baby boomers' minds, right? But, I mean, look at that. So when you have people 
uplifting people, um, helping people, normal, average, I don't like that word, nobody's average, everybody's special, but in that class system that they make believe we don't live in, that we do live in, okay, um, it, when you can offer a system like this to somebody who will never, ever be able to be a CEO, all right, of a corporation, when you can hand them a system like this and they can take it to that level and make more money and come disclaimer, I don't know how much money you're ever going to make, but the possibility is, okay, that you could make as much or more than any CEO. That's why I'm here. So, you know, people want to say, oh, it's hype, it's it. whatever, whatever. Okay, that's why I'm here. That's, and obviously I know my passion came out in this. <laughs> that's, that's really important to me because now I'm able to help people and work with people, okay, from all walks of life and, uh, and we are, we are able to help each other and we're all able to make money. That to me, it's just like, this is not trickle down. This is empowering people. Okay, I could really go. I'm done now. <laughs> you know what, Ellie? I'm glad you mentioned that, that this is not a trickle down. Yeah, I mean, that's like really, really important to for people to realize. Uh, and and th this is probably the only business I know of that you could become your own CEO, so to speak. You know what I mean? Um, and, and the company name, Empower Network, you know, empowering people, a network of people. It's, it's perfect because that's exactly what the vision is about. It's about empowering you to your greater success. And, and, and they, you know, from, from David Wood down, um, have they just keep developing ways that we can we can create a business uh, combining network marketing, combining direct sales, combining affiliate sales, and I know it sounds crazy, but they did. They combined all of that into this hybrid type of you know business where we can sell product, we can build teams. Um, or we can, you know, we can just be that affiliate making some side money, you know, some side cash, so to speak. So it's really, really, truly is an incredible way to build a business online without coming up with your own product. Just trust me, I, I did that too. You know, I, I think Ellie mentioned, you know, she was self-employed. She knows. Um, it's tough. You know, it's tough. And and I thought that was that was my way to riches, so to speak, was or to freedom, was to have my own product. Well, okay. There's a lot that goes beyond, you know, having your own product. You, there's so much behind the scenes. And, and, you know, a company like Empower Network will certainly tell you that because it's more than just saying, okay, I've got this product, you know, and you want to make a million dollars with it. There's a, there's a ton, ton behind the scenes that, you know, you would have to know first before you decided to do that. And you can. I mean, you can build a business with your own product. That's fine. Uh, but you know the the community of people that we are a part of, we found a way to build a business online that is is selling product digitally. Okay, so that means that we sell product on the internet. We don't have to have inventory. You know, we don't have to buy the lotions and potions and the creams and the gels and all this kind of stuff, right? And then we offer memberships, right? We offer memberships, and that's the, re the reoccurring residual income. It's really cool, right? So, so there's so many different ways that we can do this. And then we build team. And building team is so incredible because you meet so many cool people. And that's where the community part comes in. And that's where your passion really can shine if that's what you want to do. Because there's a lot of, let's face it, there's, there's a lot of people that are coming from corporate America that are really true leaders because you know how to lead yourself. And that's what's important. You lead yourself first. Then you can lead others. And that's all part of, you know, team building and what we're learning, you know, in, inside some of the products that we even sell, right? These are products that we sell. So at any rate, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I know we're at the top of the hour here, so we're going to we're gonna kind of say our, our last, um, you know, our last to-do here. So go ahead, uh, Carol, and then Ellie, and then we'll, we'll toast it out. Okay. Um yeah, I, I love the way you describe this as a hybrid because, I mean, you can come in here and do just about any darn thing that you want to. 
and and make a business out of it. Uh, that and Ellie, I'm, I was glad that you mentioned uh, politics. Not that I'm going to get into politics, though I easily can. But uh, one of the things that I like about this is that is the uh, the fact that it is a community, and it um, it puts people first. Uh, it, and it's like a, a mini universe. I heard some some one of the folks who's who's in this uh, uh, company. Uh, says that uh, she lives in a bubble. You know, she doesn't allow negativity in. She doesn't allow nastiness in. She just enjoys living with uh, and working with these like-minded people and being up uplifted and uplifting others. And on that, I will say I agree with her. So, <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not much more to add to all of this. I mean, I can just say if you're on here live, or if you're watching the replay and you keep finding yourself doing that, okay, <laughs> get in touch with the person who told you about it and ask them. And just get started. Stop. T I would, that would drive me crazy if I kept showing up and watching and it's like, oh, but what are they doing? Stop worrying about how other people are doing. Oh, I know one person is doing it and they're not making any money. You know, don't worry <laughs> about that. It, it, uh, don't. Don't base what you're going to do on what somebody else does or doesn't do. There are always people in businesses that will excel and people who will just lay back and do nothing. If you're the lay back, do nothing, then, you know, but I believe you, when you come into business, you come in um, to expand, and that's everything in your life. That's your finances, that's your purse, that's really your life, all right, when you come within a community with like-minded people. So... I'm good, I think. Okay, I, th I think it was a great night, another good night. I hope everybody got some value out of that. And I think we need to toast to your, not only to your success, but to making a decision in your life where you're at right now. And maybe, you know, this could be the change. Maybe what we're offering you tonight is could be the change that you've been waiting for. This could be the sign that Ellie was... <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm laughing. Which you can't see it because I have a thing called Mindful Bell on here, and it just gonged as you said that. Oh, <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. No. You did hear it, right? Yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. The sign is here. <laughs> All right, Ellie, toast us out. So, you know, here you go. To your success, um, uh, to me, my, my wish is for you to, um, to always step into that best self of you that gives you joy. So, million dollar mission, here we go. Cheers to you Cheers. all. Be the change. We'll see you next week. All right, we're going out.